Hello, I am the Programming Dunce and in this video I'm going to integrate Direct2D into our drawing application. In the previous video, we expanded our drawing application to supporting the drawing of rectangles and circles. I also came to be dissatisfied with the API used to do so. I have actually integrated DirectX into MFC on a much larger scale before. So in this video, I'm going to take what I learned from that ongoing project into this video. There are two major Direct2D objects needed to use Direct2D. A 2D factory and a 2D render target. There are four major render targets available. A window handle render target, a DC render target, the XGI render target, and the 2D context device. I have found that the DC render target and 2D context device actually work for our purposes. If you're just working with Direct2D and DirectWrite, the DC render target is sufficient. If you wish to use Direct3D as well, then you'll want a 2D context device. Because we're not using Direct3D, we are going to use the DC render target. Before using Direct2D, we need to initialize Direct2D by setting up the factory, which is used to set up our render target. This can be done by placing these objects in our view class and initialize them in our onInit method. However, before we do any drawing, we need to bind the render target with our device context, which we get when onDraw is called. But we need only to bind it once, so we have a boolean to signal if the bonding was done and set it to false during initialization. We then call the render target's begin draw method and begin the actual drawing. We use a solid color brush, which we initialize with the render target. Thankfully, the Direct2D API does have the methods we are looking for, we were looking for in our last video, and I take full advantage of them. Another change I need to showcase is the update of the colors. Direct2D doesn't use the RGB standard. It uses a structure that holds four floating point values, all of which are set between 0 and 1. The fourth float is the alpha channel, which deals with the color's transparency. One is opaque. We update the brush color after the dialog from our last video returns OK. Finally, notice how when we created our Direct2D objects, we had a function or method initialize it. We never initialize it directly with new. So when we are done with Direct2D, which we are when our destructor is called, we release our objects instead of deleting them. So let me run this application real quick. Thank you for watching. In our next video, I will introduce the MFC ribbon that most MFC books overlook.